May I now take this opportunity of calling upon Brigadier Shobet Ngozi to bless this ceremony with a prayer. But this precious treasure, this light and power that shine within us, is held in a perishable containers that is in our weak bodies. So everyone can see that our glorious power is from God and it's not our own. And verse number, uh, number 20 of chapter 6, Matthew, store your treasures in heaven where they will never become moth-eaten or rusty and where they will be safe from thieves. Amen. May we take this opportunity of welcoming the Honorable Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, my country. The entire nation is with you at this moment. The South African nation stands ready to offer a hand in any time of need. Master of Ceremonies and fellow South Africans, on behalf of President Jacob Zuma, the government of South Africa and the people of our country, we take this opportunity to thank faith-based formations and other sectors of our society who have provided much needed spiritual, emotional and material support to the members of the bereaved families. We extend our hand of gratitude to all nations of the world who have expressed their condolences to the government and the people of our country following the death of our compatriots. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the people of Nigeria and South Africa have been united in their loss and sorrow. This tragedy has reinforced the warm and fraternal relations between our two countries. We thank the government of Nigeria under the leadership of President Goodluck Jonathan for their support and cooperation. We thank Minister Jeff Hadebe for the outstanding work that he did with DG Dr. Keshias Lubisi to ensure that we arrive at this moment. I would also like to thank the interministerial committee that was set up for all the work that they did. And I also like to thank the many teams that have been involved in the very hard work over the many days to ensure that the injured receive appropriate care and that the remains of all South Africans who passed away are returned home. This is indeed a somber moment for our nation. The nation is in mourning. This tragedy in many ways has united us in grief. It has reminded us of our shared humanity. May the, rest, may the souls of those who have departed rest in eternal peace. And may the families of the bereaved find peace and solace even at this difficult moment.